it's Matt again. Uh, I know it's been a while since my last video. A lot has happened on the layout recently, and I uh, just wanted to kind of just do a quick little video and show you everything that's changed around here. Uh, some pretty cool changes, and uh, mainly just some updates and maintenance. Uh, so let's get right to it, and uh, I'll start showing you what we've done here. First, let's start over here in the uh, corner here. You may notice a uh, building is missing and we have a new track. Um, I used to have two little freight depots over here. I have not yet got to scenery. That's to come very soon. Um, and we've also added some more track here. And we've also added a new building. This is a Menards uh, Schneider truck depot. Well, I've made it a rail truck transfer depot. Uh, so it just adds another uh, industry to the layout and you'll notice that the track does not just stop there it keeps going here well very soon I don't know how far in the near future there will be uh, some grain silos over here so we'll have a whole string of covered hoppers hopefully over here and that would be really cool because that's the uh, stairs to my uh, basement here so you will actually be able to see the layout from the stairs which I think is awesome. Uh, pay no attention there, it's my cat's scratching post. But, um, yeah, pretty exciting here. Uh, staying with the yard, uh, some more improvements with the yard. Oh, yes, I don't think anybody on YouTube's seen this. If you're on my Instagram, you've seen it. The whirlpool in the corner there, uh, that is another, uh, that, that spur's been there for quite some time. The whirlpool's new, that was just before Christmas when I added that. This was just after New Year's when I added this. And last week I went through and took out the last remaining bit of uh, when I originally built this layout, coming up on 10 years now, I had some a mixture of 027 and 031 all throughout because that's all I had. Uh, well, the last bit of running 027 is now gone. It is all your standard tubular. This is 031 here, there's all 042 on the main layout here. Um, there's the one of the uh, tanker cars you've seen. And we've moved the coaling, I've moved the uh, coaling and water tower. Figured it's just a bit more of a uh, appropriate spot there. Plus when I pull my steamer in, the steam engine can stop right there then go back on its way. It's kind of fun. And let's not forget the, uh, my wife had a really good idea to show off my collection of cars. She made a parking lot. Uh, we're going to end up adding a road all through here, and I don't want to mention. I don't want to forget to mention my uh, new Taco Bell as well. I got the Taco Bell and this on the same day. Um, believe it or not, that was during the bag sale, and Menards was cool enough to uh, let us get the discount on that. So, but yeah, so as far as that end goes. That's about it for there. Let's go over here. And as you all know, I have gargraves along the main here. I found a gargrave switch. Uh, switch machine itself is burned out or broken. I just left it there. Switch works great. Uh, I have converted to manual, had a friend of mine 3D print this little switch handle. And I just got a piece of piano wire on there. Don't want to do that too much because I actually got a train running. Uh, so all this is now Gargraves. This is a lot more level than it was before because I had an old 031 switch there. A uh, lot smoother operation, uh, less derailment. Stuff's not hitting that anymore so I can redo all this. Have not put the ballast down because like I said, this was uh, about two weeks ago, this was the project. Uh, and that's all the same, it's still my materials plant course the barn here's another change so you can see we got I found another switch uh, this is where the transfer depot is gone so I have yet another uh, industry another spur to service and this is a remote switch so it's nice and easy and the you might notice the housing 
So here's a future project. I don't know how far in the future, so don't quote me on it, but it is a future project. Probably gonna end up modifying the uh, mountain here. And I will have a platform built back here. And I'm gonna put my little houses, the houses and the church and everything that I had. It will then go up there. So look pretty nice. So that's about it. We still have, you know, the brewery and whatnot. I'm going to be painting some stuff over here and doing some, uh, doing some work. It works never done on a layout. That's just how it goes. But yeah, I figured I'd just give you a quick little tidbit what's going on. Um, stay tuned. Uh, February 13th, I'm recording this on the 12th. February 13th, I'm going to the Mansfield, another Mansfield train show. So hopefully we'll get some good finds and, uh, I'll show you what I have there, but yeah, there it be. Here's another thing that I uh, have. I definitely want to mention this is a Menards uh, station. One of the few stations they have. It is a beautiful, my mother-in-law gave me this. This is a beautiful building here. Uh, very nice details all the way around. And that has replaced a Plasticville uh, suburban station. I love this. Just, it's a classy, classy looking station. Uh, that right there is a Lionel platform. And I think that adds a nice little bit. I'm gonna put some uh, figures and whatnot on that. And I think that just kind of adds to it. So, but yeah, I love this station. I just need to find me some coaches. And I'll try to find some scale coaches to go with the Atlantic, so.